welcome to easy btech your guide for btech and beyond in this channel you can learn the subject very easily my name is g sampath i am going to explain the subject vlsi design today we are going to discuss about the wiring capacitance so wiring capacitance wiring capacitance capacitance let us see let us today we discuss some of the wiring capacitances which are used in mass transistors wiring capacitance wiring capacitance in mass transistors in mass transistors <coughs> in mass transistors mass transistors so what is a capacitance so capacitance 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 c is defined capacitance of the area capacitance c is defined epsilon not epsilon insulation a by d okay where uh, epsilon insulation is a uh, dielectric layer epsilon insulation is a dielectric layer dielectric layer dielectric layer epsilon epsilon not is a permittivity of free space permittivity of free space free space permittivity permittivity right a is a area a is a area area of the layer area of the layer capacitance of mass transistors we can define capacitance is equal to epsilon not epsilon insulation a by d where epsilon insulation is a dielectric layer epsilon not is a free space permittivity a is the area of the plate area of the layer area of the layer so it will be length and width length and width so this is length and width length and width d is a separation of the two layers d is a separation of two layers separation of two layers d is a distance we call it is distance between two plates or also we can say distance between two plates distance between two plates two layers distance between two layers we can say here if the layer one one layer is here one layer is here that is a positive layer then another one layer is here and two layers the layer is a, a positive layer a positive layer a layer with a positive any conducting layer any conducting layer positive one negative positive one negative separation with dielectric layer separation with dielectric layer let us say this one is a metal for example it is a metal layer it is a metal layer the negative charge carriers so let us take it is a metal layer a metal layer and is a channel substrate area channel area right is a top layer is a metal layer and this one is a channel area channel area separated with the siO2 layer dielectric layers separated with the dielectric layers so there is a charge capacitance negative negative charge carriers and positive charge carriers so here also when your conduction charge is applied in the dielectric negative charge carriers are attracted to this one positive charge carriers are attracted to this one so there is a charge established from metal and this channel two layers right so that is a capacitance of these two layers so it is separation by dielectric layer we can say dielectric or we can use the dielectric or dielectrics dielectrics or like uh, glass 
glass plastic glass plastic or mica any other metal oxide layers any other metal oxide layers metal oxide layers so metal oxide layers are the dielectrics which are placed in between the two layers metal oxide layers right that is a capacitance of a mass transistor so capacitance of mass transistors it is a layers separation by layers with respect to substrate area layers 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 to substrate area so capacitance of mass transistor it is layers to substrate area layers to substrate area layers to substrate area and uh, gate to channel gate to channel gate to channel it is also capacitance layers to substrate area gate to channel is also capacitance okay so layers to substrate area is capacitance of uh, capacitance of mass transistor capacitance of mass so gate to channel is also is standard is standard mass capacitance mass transistor capacitance mass transistor capacitance mass transistor capacitance mass transistor capacitance so that is nothing but uh, that is uh, polysilicon to polysilicon to channel area is a standard gate to channel capacitance so that is uh, poly to polysilicon to polysilicon to substrate area polysilicon to substrate area right is a standard area standard uh, gate to channel capacitance so gate to channel capacitance standard mass transistor is polysilicon to substrate area right layers to substrate area is nothing but layers to substrate area so layers to substrate area layers to substrate area layers to substrate layers to substrate area means we, we have metal one to substrate area metal one to substrate area metal one to substrate area okay metal one to substrate area. metal two to substrate area metal two to substrate area metal two to substrate area substrate area so it is like any layer layer to substrate area and the standard is gate to channel capacitance area so some other today we discuss the other than this the overall capacitance are also included some other uh, capacitance are called wiring capacitance right uh, now now the overall capacitance overall capacitance overall capacitance overall capacitance included included so other other three types other three types also included other three types also included the first one is a fringing field capacitance fringing fringing field capacitance fringing field capacitance fringing field capacitance fringing field capacitance second one is uh, interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance right interlayer capacitance and the third one is uh, peripheral capacitance peripheral peripheral capacitance today we discuss about this uh, other included capacitance are called uh, wiring capacitance these three are called wiring capacitance peripheral capacitance right peripheral capacitance so these are these are these are 
these are wiring capacitors we call it is wiring capacitors <coughs> wiring capacitors wiring capacitors so layer cap layer to substrate area gate to channel two two capacitances are there and moreover we can add the overall capacitance of a mass transistor so other three types of mass mass capacitances are there are called uh, wiring capacitance fringing wheel capacitance second one is interlayer capacitance third one is peripheral capacitance so fringing field capacitance means uh, fringing field capacitance means uh, wire with respect to substrate area wire any layer any layer wire with respect to substrate area in between dielectric layer so wire with respect to with respect to substrate area with respect to substrate area with respect to separate substrate area separation by separation by dielectric layer separation by dielectric layer that is nothing but SiO2 layer separation by dielectric layer that is called as a fringing field capacitance capacitance due to the two layers so with respect to substrate area and there is a dielectric layer is there and there is a SiO2 layer is separation so the field induced through the like this one uh, previous we are seeing the capacitance the capacitance is the field the field charge from metal to substrate area like a uh, fringing field capacitance means so due to the field induced through this dielectric layer field induced through the dielectric layer so is called uh, fringing field capacitance interlayer capacitance means two separate layers are there two different layers two different layers there is no SiO2 layer two different two different layers right two different layers two different layers then there is a capacitance is formed two different layers are there we can say this one is a metal to poly is a different layer metal to poly or metal to diffusion metal to diffusion n plus diffusion p plus diffusion so these are the two different layers there is a charge store there is a charge store is called interlayer capacitance peripheral capacitance means uh, peripheral capacitance means diffusion to substrate area like diffusion to n plus diffusion diffusion to substrate area diffusion to substrate area okay diffusion to substrate area so this is called peripheral capacitance peripheral means uh, the diffusions are used in source and drain source and drains are source and drain are peripherals used in uh, input output input and output input and output input and output so the layers is called uh, peripheral capacitance the capacitance is called peripheral capacitance let us see one by one fringing field capacitance the first one is uh, fringing field capacitance fringing field capacitance fringing field capacitance so fringing field capacitance it is CFF it is CFF the capacitance due to the field through the dielectric layer CFF it is equal to the formula epsilon SiO2 layer epsilon SiO2 layer epsilon SiO2 layer epsilon naught epsilon SiO2 layer epsilon naught right uh, pi by pi by natural logarithm the formula is here natural logarithm 1 plus 2d by t 2d by t into 1 plus the square root of 1 plus t by d t by d right uh, minus uh, minus t by 4d this is a formula for uh, this is a formula for fringing field capacitance this is formula for fringing field capacitance so it is capacitance due to capacitance due to capacitance 
due to wire to substrate area wire to substrate area wire to substrate area wire to substrate area right any layer any layer any layer with with respect to substrate area in between dielectric layer in between in between dielectric layer is there dielectric layer so sio2 layer is there dielectric layer dielectric layer so that is uh, sio2 layer in between them so it is called uh, fringing field capacitance like you can see a layer for example a layer is here for example a layer is here and below it is a substrate area with respect to substrate area right with respect to substrate area okay in between sio2 layer is there in between sio2 layer is there so this is sio2 layer sio2 layer it is with respect to substrate area you can say substrate area is uh, like let us take it is a p type substrate area so p type substrate area p type substrate area so this is p type substrate area p type substrate area right p type substrate area above one is let us take it is a metal it is a metal layer ma it is a metal layer let us take it is a metal layer so metal is a top layer metal layer metal to substrate area so metal is a wire here metal is a wire here and with respect to substrate area sio2 separation is there so the field induced so negative it is a positive charge carriers negative charge carriers over here and positive negatives are separated when conduction is applied so negatives are over here positives are over here so there is a charge induced from wire to substrate area direct in between dielectric layer is there so it is called fringing field capacitance so fringing field capacitance means uh, layer to substrate area with dielectric layer separation with dielectric layer separation is called a fringing field uh, capacitance here what is uh, t so here epsilon sio2 sio2 layer epsilon sio2 it is a dielectric layer sio2 layer dielectric between dielectric between dielectric between wire to substrate area wire to substrate area wire to substrate area wire to substrate area sio2 layer in between right epsilon not is a free space permittivity right free space free space permittivity right permittivity permittivity epsilon not 8.85 for 10 power the value is 8.854 into 10 power minus 14 farads per meter right farads per meter now other is uh, d is the distance of d is the distance of distance of sio2 layer distance of distance of sio2 layer distance of sio2 layer l is the length of the wire length of the wire right a length of the wire l is the length of the wire d is the distance of the sio2 layer between wire to substrate area between wire to wire to substrate area wire to substrate area ma substrate area right uh, anything we need to do epsilon sio2 dielectric layer epsilon or permittivity of free space 8.85 for 10 power minus 14 farads per meter so l is the uh, length of the wire d is the uh, distance t is the thickness t is the thickness of the wire t is the thickness of wire thickness of wire so any layer any layer we can uh, separation by sio2 layer wire separation with respect to substrate area so in fringing field capacitance in fringing field capacitance 
fringing field capacitance in fringing field capacitance capacitance uh, any layer any layer act as wire act as wire signal flow act as wire means signal flow signal flow to substrate area wire to substrate area wire to substrate area substrate area in between between SiO2 layer between SiO2 layer so this is called a fringing field capacitance this is called a fringing field capacitance right the light next we will see the second one is uh, what is the second one second one is uh, you will see interlayer capacitance interlayer interlayer capacitance interlayer capacitance one so interlayer capacitance means two different layers two layers are there then it is called interlayer capacitance two different layers like if you see a mass transistor you see a mass transistor like uh, the bottom area is p-type substrate area then after diffusion area so this is SiO2 layer right uh, polysilicon area polysilicon area and metal area right metal area so this is metal area this is a metal area this is a metal area right let us see the layers representation let us it is a p-type substrate area p-type substrate area cap representation p-type substrate area then after we see diffusion n plus diffusion forward lines with nearer distance n plus diffusion this is n plus diffusion metal is a blue color metal one is a blue color metal one is a blue color it's a conducting layer now SiO2 layer this is SiO2 layer dielectric layer from polysilicon to substrate area now polysilicon is a gate terminal for backward lines with nearer distance now metal metal layer metal one so this is the structure of uh, n mass transistor gate source and drain terminal so this is n mass transistor now let us take n mass transistor in this n mass transistor n mass transistor now here metal one metal one to polysilicon so two different layers interlayer means two different layers two different layers are here if you take uh, this is metal one right metal one to metal one deposition on polysilicon right metal one deposition on polysilicon right uh, so the capacity the capacitance of this one is called as interlayer capacitance metal on polysilicon you see metal on polysilicon metal on polysilicon so it is metal on polysilicon what we call this one is metal metal and this one is a polysilicon and this one is a polysilicon right polysilicon polysilicon two different layers okay two different layers you can say two different layers two different layers two different layers connection interconnection two different layers interconnection interconnection is called interconnection is called is called interlayer capacitance is called interlayer capacitance two different layers interlayer capacitor the charge the overall capacitance of a mass transistor not only gate to channel is called interlayer capacitance let me define here this one so the capacitance is uh, generally layer to substrate area so met metal one to substrate area any layer to substrate area not only so the standard is uh, gate to channel capacitance you see this one more. if you apply if you apply charge over here if you apply charge over here vgs vgs is applied now what happens vgs is applied over here now the charge carriers are all the negatives are attracted to this positive negative positive negative positive 
negative, positive, positive over here. And uh, in the p-type substrate area, majority charge carriers are positive charge carriers, minority charge carriers are negatives, electrons. So it will be flow from drain to source. You see, there is a capacitance polysilicon to gate area. So polysilicon. So this is a polysilicon gate area, gate to channel area, gate to channel area, and in between dielectric layer is there. In between dielectric layer is a standard uh, capacitance. Not only that one, fringing field capacitance, any layer separation with SiO2 layer, it is called fringing field capacitance. Now, interlayer capacitance means two different layers are there. Here, metal is there, metal and this polysilicon. There is a charge store. Capacitance is nothing but storage of charge. Okay. Storage of charge, electric field charge. It is stores electric field charge. So, it is positive plate, it is a positive terminal and it is a negative terminal. So, there is a field charge, field charge, right? Field, positive and negative field charge store here. Two different layers is called as interlayer capacitance. This capacitance is also include in the overall capacitance of mass transistor. So, that is called interlayer capacitance. And, and uh, we can say, we can say this one, polysilicon to end diffusion, polysilicon to end diffusion, right? Uh, if n plus diffusion to n plus diffusion, <coughs> we can say uh, n plus diffusion, right? n plus diffusion, n plus diffusion and polysilicon n plus diffusion and polysilicon. If two layers are there, then it is a capacitance is called interlayer capacitance, positives and negatives. So, it is poly to poly to n plus diffusion, n plus diffusion, right, uh, poly to n plus diffusion, if the two layers. Similarly, we can say polysilicon to P plus diffusion, polysilicon to P plus diffusion, right? Uh, so, this is also two different layers, two different layers. So, polysilicon to N plus diffusion, polysilicon to P plus diffusion. So, metal to substrate area and metal to polysilicon. So, metal to polysilicon capacitance, two different layers, metal and polysilicon. Metal to, metal to polysilicon 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 metal to polysilicon capacitance is capacitance is capacitance is higher than higher than higher than any other capacitance like metal to metal to substrate area metal to substrate area metal to substrate area metal to substrate area so metal to polysilicon so this capacitance this capacitance is higher than the metal to substrate area or metal to diffusion like a poly 1 to polysilicon to n plus diffusion poly to p plus diffusion so this is interlayer capacitance two different layers are there metal to polysilicon or polysilicon to n diffusion polysilicon to P plus diffusion, right? Uh, next one. The third one is uh, the third one is uh, peripheral capacitance, right? Uh, peripheral capacitance. Peripheral capacitance is nothing but uh, the capacitance due to the peripheral peripherals in a mass transistor. Peripheral capacitance. Peripheral capacitance. Peripheral capacitance, capacitance due to peripherals, capacitance due to diffusion, okay, capacitance, capacitance, capacitance due to, capacitance due to diffusion terminals, so diffusion, diffusion terminals, diffusion terminals, right, uh, diffusion terminals. What are the diffusion terminals? Uh, N plus diffusion, N plus diffusion, 
okay n plus diffusion and p plus diffusion n plus diffusion p plus diffusion n plus diffusion p plus diffusion to substrate area with respect to substrate area with respect to substrate area is called substrate area is called the peripheral capacitance let me see and let me draw here let me draw here the peripherals are source and uh, drain so this one is a source right uh, drain source and drain polysilicon and metal and here also metal here also metal deposition for conduction okay let me take this one pause to vgs and also we can take from here to here vds also we can take more this is also vds right uh, this is a vgs this is a vgs vgs and this one is vds right drain to source voltage so substrate area is uh, let me again p type substrate area forward lines uh, with nearer distance n plus diffusion and uh, metal one metal layer metal layer okay from here to here is a connection right uh, and this is also metal metal layer right uh, polysilicon this is a polysilicon layer backward slashes nearer distance and sio2 layer is a dielectric layer is a dielectric layer now peripherals okay so this one is n plus diffusion n plus diffusion n plus diffusion to substrate area n plus diffusion to substrate area like okay let us take capacitance c1 capacitance c2 right this is n plus diffusion this is a n plus diffusion okay n plus diffusion n plus diffusion n plus diffusion this is also n plus diffusion n plus diffusion right uh, n type dopants diffuse into the substrate area so diffusion to substrate area n plus diffusion to substrate area p plus diffusion to substrate area so this type of capacitance is called peripherals so source and drain source and drain terminals are peripherals if you take uh, input voltage with respect to gate to source we are applying so gate to source we are applying vgs and output is taken vds output is taken vds right uh, so drain and source terminals are drain and source terminals are input and output input and output so it is called peripherals output input and output input and output terminals so vds is taken output vgs is applied input so it is called peripheral capacitance so if you do diffusion p plus diffusion to substrate area so it is also a peripheral capacitance so n plus diffusion for n mos n plus diffusion n mos right uh, p plus diffusion p mos p plus diffusion p type dopants diffusion to source and drain p plus diffusion for p mos transistor so diffusion p plus diffusion it is a p mos transistor p mos transistor right p mos transistor p mos transistor so diffusion to substrate area it is called as a with respect to substrate area now it is uh, like uh, you see it is a negative charge carriers this is a negative charge carriers this is a negative charge carriers negative charge carriers and substrate area is p type charge carrier substrate area is p type charge carriers this is a p type charge carriers and uh, diffusion is n type charge carriers now so n type charge carriers negative and uh, p type substrate area is p type positive charge carriers negative and positive there is a capacitance charge there is a charge due to this diffusion and substrate area is called peripheral capacitance right uh, let me draw one table for this so total area capacitance we can say before that uh, so total area capacitance is equal to some area capacitance area capacitance plus uh, c peripheral capacitance c peripheral capacitance so c area means uh, area capacitance area capacitance is defined by 
so defined by defined by length and width length and width right uh, so area capacitance area capacitance so length and width of this uh, end diffusion this uh, width and length we can say width and length width and length width and length this is a width and length so width and length it is a area capacitance width and length is a area capacitance plus peripheral capacitance so total is a total is called as a total capacitance right so the total capacitance of diffusion diffusion peripherals and the peripherals means diffusion capacitance and area capacitance right uh, now let us see the some table for the diffusion diffusion area diffusion area and peripherals area and uh, 5 micrometer 1.2 micrometer 2 micrometer technology so diffusion capacitance first we can area capacitance area capacitance area capacitance and uh, peripheral capacitance peripheral capacitance peripheral capacitance right if you use uh, area is uh, 5 micrometer 5 micrometer technology 2 micrometer technology and 1.2 micrometer 1.2 micrometer so area capacitance is defined by 1.0 into 10 power minus 4 picofarad per micrometer square right this is 1.7 1.75 into 10 power minus 4 picofarad per micrometer square right this is 3.75 into 10 power minus 4 picofarad per micrometer square micrometer square mark. and peripheral capacitance peripheral capacitance is 8.0 8.0 into 10 power minus 4 picofarads per micrometer square right uh, this is not applicable in 2 micrometer area chip area and 1.2 micrometer chip area so it is 5 micrometer means chip area 5 micrometer size length and width 5 micrometer 2 micrometer 1.2 micrometer polysilicon area right uh, so the total area total area diffusion plus peripheral so area capacitance of this one and peripheral capacitance of this one 5, five micrometer area 2 micrometer area and 1.2 micrometer area and also you can see this one in uh, fringing field capacitance the total capacitance wiring capacitance total capacitance is equal to so area capacitance area of the layer plus this uh, CFF fringing field capacitance area capacitance and fringing field capacitance right this is about uh, capacitance of wiring capacitance of wiring right one is the fringing field capacitance interlayer capacitance and the peripheral capacitance fringing field again fringing field means uh, layers to substrate area with separation of SiO2 layer right let me go through layer to substrate area with SiO2 layer it is called fringing field capacitance and the formula next one interlayer capacitance two different layers metal to polysilicon is higher than the metal to substrate area and third one interlay peripheral capacitance means uh, diffusion to substrate area end diffusion or p diffusion right uh, the total uh, capacitance of area and peripheral capacitance right please uh, subscribe the channel like share with your friends the learn the subject very easily okay Thank you.